This is the heartbreaking case of a six-year-old boy who was abducted from a mall in broad daylight. The case took a tragic turn two weeks later when a grim discovery was made by two fishermen. But before we delve into the details, if you're interested in true crime cases, please subscribe to our channel. Let's dive into today's case. On a humid Florida morning of July 27, 1981, Reve Walsh and her young son Adam set out for a routine shopping trip at the local Sears in Hollywood Mall. The store, bustling with the midday crowd, offered the usual distractions. Reve, with a mental note to purchase a lamp, allowed Adam a moment of delight at a video game kiosk near the toy section, where he joined other children absorbed in their digital world. Assured by the innocent laughter and the seemingly safe environment, she wandered just aisles away to examine the lamp selections. These brief moments of separation, laden with trust in the mundane, would soon unfold into unimaginable horror when she returned to find Adam missing, his absence marking a sharp, painful pivot in her day. In the frantic moments following Adam's disappearance, Reve Walsh's heart sank as her calls for him went unanswered amidst the chaos of the bustling store. With a surge of dread, she alerted the store management, prompting an immediate intercom announcement for Adam but it yielded no sign of him. The local police were swiftly called, initiating a massive search operation that radiated outward from the Sears store. The community rallied together, posters of Adam's bright, smiling face blanketing the city, and volunteers combing through every possible hiding spot. The days stretched into agonizing weeks until a devastating discovery was made. On a quiet morning, two fishermen went out to a canal in Vero Beach, looking forward to a day of fishing. The water was calm, and everything seemed normal as they chatted and cast their lines. As they moved along the canal, one of them noticed something unusual floating near the shore. When they got closer, they realized it was the head of a child. This shocking discovery abruptly changed their peaceful day into a very distressing experience. After the discovery, the fishermen immediately contacted local authorities, triggering a significant police response. The area was quickly cordoned off as a crime scene, and investigators began the grim task of gathering evidence. The head was soon identified as that of Adam Walsh, bringing a tragic confirmation to his family and the community who had been hoping for his safe return. The discovery intensified the investigation into Adam's disappearance and murder. Law enforcement officials conducted extensive searches in the area where the head was found and reviewed all available leads and tips, hoping to find more evidence or clues about the perpetrator. The case drew national attention, catalyzing discussions on child safety and the need for systemic changes in how missing children cases were handled. Despite extensive efforts and the consideration of various suspects, Adam Walsh's case remained unsolved for many years. It wasn't until 2008, 27 years after the abduction, that the suspect was identified and the authorities officially closed the case. The suspect was identified as Otis Tool, a convicted serial killer who died in the prison in 1996. The conclusion was drawn from a thorough review of the evidence, which included multiple confessions Tool had made over the years, despite their inconsistencies. By re-examining all available information, the Hollywood Police Department determined that if Tool were still alive, he would be arrested and charged based on the cumulative evidence against him, thus bringing a delayed but definitive closure to this tragic case. <laughs> 